Hey everybody, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and who knows what else. Ah, it's not even New Year's yet, don't worry about it. Uh, so I'm doing this a little early, I'm going to do this, this is the 23rd, so I'm going to have it filmed for the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. This way, you can have something ready and set to go for Christmas morning when Santa shows up. Look. Growing up, Christmas, we had a rule. We could play with anything in our damn stockings, but we could not wake up mom and dad until at least 7.30, 8 o'clock. 40 years, 41 years old, and that rule still exists. But you know what? This year, it's 2020. I'm going to open up my damn presents when I feel like it. They haven't come here yet. They're lost out there in the Twitter sphere or the the mail or what I don't know. It's, but anyway, so this is something that my mother made up the night before. So all she had to do was slide the stuff in. And most times by the time we got done unwrapping all of our presents, calling our grandparents, aunts and uncles and uh you know, by the end of that, most times, and that second cup of coffee, my dad was ready to have breakfast. So this is my mom's egg casserole. Uh, that's actually her handwriting. And I cut this in half, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how to do this. So what I did was I browned up some Smith sausage. I added some onions. I added some garlic because I'm an adult. Okay? I've got two eggs because I, I halved it. I've got some really good, sharp uh, hoop cheese. And I got a bunch of mixed bread because I'm cheap. So what I'm going to do first, you grease, you grease the pan here, which I don't know if Stacy's already done it, but I'm going to do it again. You see all that? OK. Because that's healthy for you, let me tell you. All right, so what I did was I sliced up three, uh, three slices of bread. Um, we got, you know, funny thing about bread. For Christmas this year, we got a bread maker. How do I know it, it was a bread maker? Because on the side of the box, it says, Hamilton Beach bread maker. Thanks, guys. Way to be sneaky about it. So here's what you do. You put the bread in there. You put your sausage in here, and this is, you know, I halved it. It's a half a pound. Uh, growing up, what my mother would do would be to get the pre-cooked sausages and, and do it that way, but you know what? I didn't feel like it, and I almost... Got killed by an old lady trying to get sausage from Smith's Red and White. I tell you what, you ever want to chance your life, go to Smith's Red and White right around Christmas and try to find sausage. People drive from all over the place for that stuff. I mean, I, I went in there and this woman had a Yeti cooler, and the, the big expensive one, and she's like, fill it up. Well, ma'am, did you uh, order? No, I just figured I could get some. And uh, you would have thought that the cartoon, you know, like the cartoons and music stopped. Same thing. I don't know if she did get it or not, but I mean, people order a couple hundred pounds of this stuff at a time. So here's what I did. I've got three quarters of a cup of, of milk and two eggs. And I'm going to, I told you, I'll cook the way I always cook. I've got my beater. If anybody gets a KitchenAid mixer from the jolly old fat man for Christmas, you're welcome. Because I love my KitchenAid mixer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to beat that up. Um, let's 
So I've got it all beat up here. Come on, get that little bit of snot. I don't want it. All right. So what, what you do, so I'm going to pour this concoction over the top of the bread, okay? Now, because it's not like I haven't washed my hands enough here in 2020. So we're going to use some of my favorite ingredients here. We've got some cheddar cheese. Oh, hell, it's Christmas. Let's just roll with it here. So I'm going to put a bunch of cheese over top. And then what I want you to do is put this in the, in the fridge covered uh, for about eight hours. That way the bread soaks up the milk and the eggs and the, all that stuff. But because I love you people so much because you've been supporting all my wacky, crazy adventures, I'm going to show you how to do this. So like I said, I'm going to add some cheese, just like that, okay? I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to let this sit for about an hour just so I can show you how to do this. All right, but moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, this thing's great because guess what? It's ready and set to go. It's Christmas Eve. You know, as soon before little little Bobby and, and Susie go in and try to kill each other over Christmas presents, you throw this in the oven for 45 minutes at 325. By the time everything's opened and, and you got that big pile of paper somewhere, this thing's ready to go. So we'll be right back. All right, folks, so I cheated here a little bit. This only sat in the fridge for about two hours. Pay no attention to that. That's cooked. But what I did was I, I put the concoction in the fridge, let the milk and the eggs soak up, and there's a lot more cheese than what the uh, recipe calls for. I cooked it for 45 minutes. That's exactly what it was. And you know what? 45 minutes as a little animal ripping all those Christmas presents open, that works great. So you'll be able to make this tomorrow night. Actually, it'll be, since it'll be Christmas Eve, you can make it that night and then just throw it in the oven right before all the little monsters and cherubs and everybody else open up all their presents. Now, that being said, this is basically my mother's breakfast quiche. Recipes bring memories, and this is pretty much what I had for the last 41 Christmases. 38 of which I can remember, maybe. That's pretty good. Nothing like breakfast for dinner. Speaking of dinner, I was talking to my friend Ernest today when we gave away one of our give give music tour uh, bump boxes. We auctioned it off for charity. Way to go, Philip Parker. Ernest was talking about his friend from high school that owns a local brewery. And we'll be right back. All right, so as I was saying before Basil started going nuts, Ernest Jones High School friend owns a brewery. It's called Duck Rabbit Beer. Is that a duck or is it a a rabbit. I can see both. And my friend Tim used to come down here and him and his wife Heather would get this beer. It's a local beer. They work with our friends over at Tarboro Brewing. Drink local wherever you are. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll catch you soon. Remember, be kind, be excellent to each other and have a wonderful day. See you then.